In these times of great suffering, where there is a lot of uncertainty, misfortune, diseases, death and sadness all over, it's a good time to reflect on the real truth of life. Great leaders, philosophers, professors and realized persons in life have sought shelter in a very special and transcendental book, the book which is the Bhagavad Gita. Leaders like Narendra Modi, Tulsi Gabbard, Mahatma Gandhi, great philosophers, theologists and professors at universities recommend reading this book to find an answer to the mysteries of life. A book is known by the results it generates. The Bhagavad Gita as it is, written by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedant Swami Srila Prabhupada, has the power or the potency to transform the hearts of millions of people all over the world. Unfortunately, there are many misconceptions that are associated with reading the Bhagavad Gita and people are afraid to dwell into this transcendental book. Some say that the Bhagavad Gita may lead to fights, arguments and quarrels at home. Some say that the Bhagavad Gita is for the old or for the people in the renounced order of life. But in reality, the Bhagavad Gita is the manual for life. It teaches a person the art of living, the real way in which a person can carry out his duties and attain perfection. And if we see the Bhagavad Gita, it is not spoken to Arjun who is an old man sitting in a forest, but it is spoken to Arjun who is on the battlefield, fighting there like a Kshatriya in front of his enemies. He is a family man, he is a warrior and he is there confused about his duties. It's very similar to what situations we all face in our life. We are confused because we are tormented by so many enemies in the form of lust, anger, greed, envy, that we are confused and we don't know what is the direction in life and what should we do. So the Bhagavad Gita is a book which will give us the direction of how we should conduct ourselves. It will give us the knowledge about who we are why we are in this material world? Why are we faced with sufferings? Why do we have to undergo birth, death, old age and disease, although we don't want it? The Bhagavad Gita is a book which is spoken by Lord Krishna. Now Lord Krishna is not a person like us. In the Bhagavad Gita chapter 4 verse 9, the Lord says, Janma karma cha me divyam evam yo veti tattvataha tyaktva deham punar janma naiti ma meti sorjuna Hey Arjun, all my activities, my birth are all transcendental and one who actually realizes this knowledge does not upon leaving this body come back to this material world but attains my eternal abode. Now to understand these instructions of the Lord and imbibe them in our life, we need to have something which is called faith. In every walk of life, we need to have some faith. Whether we are booking an aeroplane flight to go to a different country, we have some faith that the aeroplane will take us to our destination. So similarly, when we accept the instructions of the Gita, we need to have some faith that yes, this is transcendental knowledge and this knowledge has helped so many over the world, so there must be something in this book for me. There is a nice story of a surgeon and a doctor. A surgeon once took a garland into the operation theatre and the patient asked the doctor that why have you brought this garland? The doctor said that if the operation is successful, this garland is for me. But if the operation is not successful, this garland is for you. So in every walk of life, there is some risk associated with it, but we have to put in some faith to carry out those activities. Similarly, in spiritual life, the first step to progress is to have some Shraddha, some faith in the process, to have faith in the instructions of the Lord. The Bhagavad Gita has the power to provide liberation to the living entities from the material bondage and sufferings. And if one is a faithful devotee and follows these instructions with all their heart, it becomes very easy to transcend the modes of material nature, to transcend the sufferings of this material world. 
But if one is an impersonalist, if one is a materialist, if one does not have faith in these instructions of the Lord, it becomes very difficult. It is just like a person licking a bottle of honey from the outside but unable to taste the sweetness and the nectar of the real honey. Let's dwell deeper into the realities of life and take advantage of this special book, the Bhagavad Gita, as it is, and try to understand and get an answer to the questions of life. Arjuna confirms in chapter 10, verse number 12, Param Brahma Param Dhamam Pavitram Paramam Bhavan Purusham Shashvatam Divyam Adi Devam Ajam Vibhum Arjuna is saying that you are declaring yourself that you are the greatest supreme personality of Godhead, the ultimate abode, the unborn. And after that, Arjuna says that it's not only you saying it, but great authorities in the past like Asita, Devala, Vyas, Narada have all confirmed this fact. Let's endeavor to vanquish the demons which are there in our heart, the Ravanas of lust, anger, greed, envy, pride and false ego which keep us bound in this material world. But with the shining lamp of transcendental knowledge given in the Bhagavad Gita, Try to dispel this darkness born of illusion or ignorance and go to the reality of eternal love, knowledge and bliss. Hare Krishna. Aise hi aur bhakti mai karikramo ke liye dekhiye Hare Krishna Television. Ise praap karne ke liye aap apne cable athwa DTH operator se sampark kare tatha aur adhik jan kari ke liye aaj hi dial kare 8767-845-845.